everything's already shrinking. We don't have that much space to work with. So, ah, uh, man, it's it's going to be a bloody stage seven, to say the least. Yeah, this is where we'll get to see a lot more action, especially involving Killer here. Hmm, CAG Osaka getting across this road and they could bump into Killer. But on the northern side, okay, we got Falcons Force, BTR, and A1 TMT. A1 TMT is going to see their first action here in this round. With Tom's knocked out, I see now getting away to safety is to get a bit action, is going to take the high ground. While Flower H is going to take this vantage point, overlooking all those teams below them. Whew! Okay, here we go. It's getting intense so far. Again, what a great exchange, TJB versus Falcons. K first uh, goes down, but Falcons, oh man! They just got eliminated with nine elimination points, and uh, I believe it was BTR who got the job done. Yeah, BTR now not only eliminated them, but they do have a very good spot against A1 TNT. Just look at this. How is A1 TNT going to come up? But no, looks like they have an answer to that. But landing a name on Lapar, that could be their opening. But still, A1 TNT, they not only need to manage BTR, but also Harami Bros on the other side in which they got that one knockdown. But still, mm. the job is not over yet against BTR. Luxy gets a knockdown to Sinister. I mean, it's uh, it's gonna be difficult for A1 TMT to pull off a win here, considering that they will be coming from, um, you know, like like just two players, uh, for for the team. Sinister is down, so there's that pressure to pick up to pick him up, but BTR not leaving the compound, so I guess they're not gonna uh leave this this spot undefended. Yeah, I mean, uh, this is a a good spot for them. Just look at their surrounding. It's well protected by the terrain itself and yeah. the fact that they have a full team so they can cover all sorts of angles so as long as they can uh, maintain the defense like no team is able to crash in then they should be in a good spot but the wow. knocks down a rowdy from a distance okay um uh, but then again you mentioned it i mean there's this that distance that we were talking about, you know, since uh, a while ago. So I guess it, it'll all just go down to damage output. But from the kill fit, it's uh, hands as well coming from BTR, who is uh, on his knee. Um, for I mean, the question is, if he's still gonna be picked up? Well, we'll just really have to until the trades finish this. Oh, looks like uh, they'll be uh, shot from multiple angles, Petrolis gets a Rowdy, and that's going to be Rowdy eliminated, a Rampage for Harami Bros. So far with three players that wow. do that game, boys, but we got our boys, Flower Age, from Neton, takes down Luxy from BTR, Rowdy Luxy sees another player on the left side from A1 TNT, Flower Age tries to get the knock, <laughs> Not able to get it just yet, but Feather Rollins again comes in on the elimination team. Yeah, you know what? Four out of five teams are actually having a trade off from one spot. It is only CAG Osaka that's uh, stayed out of the fight. So we've got TJP having an exchange up against Arame Bro. Oh, this is not looking too good for the side of Javi. He is now on the ground courtesy of K first of TJP, but Fender Rowlands is doing a massive counter. And just look at that 12 elimination points for the Philippines. And Jappy needs to be saved, but as long as he don't take out the members of TJB, it's going to be kind of hard. Okay, Jappy managed to crawl himself towards Fender Rowlands, and now the root vibe will kick in. But at the same time, the blue will start to close as well. So Harame Bros will need to find a way, but they should be okay. Just look at this. They can navigate down past the lower ground into the circle, so they should be fine. Yeah, but they will deal with uh, CAG Osaka if they are moving into another position here. I mean, it's either A1 TMT and TJB or CAG Osaka. But let's see. Um, what kind of strategy they're going to be pulling off, you know, going up against the three other remaining teams in this fight. But so far, it is CAG Osaka, Japan's team, that has the most um, successful percentage of actually scoring that chicken dinner. But, you know, BTR having this compound gives him a little bit of advantage compared Ooh. to TJB. Now, TJB going in for the fight here, and just did a massive spray, but not knocking down any of the players Damn. of TJP. It was a nade that took Yo. down Flower. Wait. Oh my goodness. Logs that he made it himself. Oh no, that's a disaster for TJP. And now only one member of TJP left left by the space to the smoke and he will land a final blow. 
on kill. DJB and they are at number four, four elimination points. Man, I, I'm not sure if, if, if no. the story if they did not self made but hey, it was still a good run. Woo, oh man. Just like what it said, I mean, CAG Osaka is just letting these two other teams really battle it out with one another before they join into the mix, which Ooh. I believe is still a smart strategy. But Harame, bro, as well as BTR, both the teams here are doing a reset, recuperating from the damage that they have suffered. But you know what? BTR is ready to fight. They are now pushing in, being the aggressive team. Let's see if Harame, bro, can still defend themselves. And Lapaz reads the dance on the fight. BTR coming in from one side, Jappy gets knocked down left only with Federalis, but nope, Federalis taken out by Hans Less, and it's going to be BTR versus CAG, and this is where production they're cheering for BTR. Man, but it is still a whopping 12 elimination points, you know, for the side of Harami Pro, so, that man, I, I mean, kudos to uh, that kind of performance. Now, down to two teams, CAG Osaka versus a BTR, and I know there's a lot of you fans out there cheering for the red aliens and this is now their moment let's see if they can actually score the chicken dinner as rick Kuki over here goes for the massive spray and actually shuts down one player from cag osaka yeah, only apollo and garnet now they won't have the time to pick his to pick that teammate up or maybe they do okay we need to wait and see how it goes but btr is going to choke them down not going to allow them that space to revive now though and now they have arrived just right in front of the members of CAG Osaka. Garnet on the other side with the M249. Scopes down with the red dot. Fires oh. in and there you go. Mesh gonna knock down and now they mesh it even at the odds. 2v2. Oh man, okay. So CAG Osaka is showing some teeth here, which we like, of course. Uh, not making it easy for the red aliens to score the chicken dinner here. Oh. Um, the far oh. option to go for that spray. Okay, which is successful enough because he already has another point under his belt. Now Apollo goes in for the dance, but it is still, of course, Bigatron Red Aliens emerging victorious from that exchange. From zero to hero, Red Queen. Two games, zero points, and they end the day with a chicken dinner. This will definitely boost them to, if not page one, it will definitely be page two at least. And production score that did uh, the <laughs> prediction. Yay! Yeah. And it started from the bottom. Now we're here, kind of moment for the side of the Bigatron Red Ants. I mean, okay, we didn't they do exactly where during the first few fights, but hey, one good game can make all the difference that they need and so far they have proven just that bigatron red aliens coming in first for the last round of day number one well 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 welcome back bigatron red aliens and now the fans will be like hey red, red, red. 24 so there you go guys i mean he is racing the philippine flag you know as uh 